welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And have another sauce. It's Bunsters again. Back with some Bunsters. And it is their green and gold sauce, which is rated an 8 out of 10. I don't know if that means flavor or heat scale, but I had Bunsters one time before, and it was their black label sauce, and it was rated 16 out of 10, and it sure was rather hot. So this one is a jalapeno and cherapita chili, which I'm not really familiar with that one, but it is from... Australia. So Bunsters is made out of Australia, out of Victoria, and uh, it's it's made out of Australia. It is. It's an Australia hot sauce. I thought it was England. No, Australia. Oh, that's it's cool. Aussie. Look, you can see if you get real close. It has a kangaroo and says "Made in Australia." Yes it or is, no? It does. I'm amazed. I'm so it's sure. Australian hot sauce. Made and produced and sold out of Australia. And it says in the Isla Manifier would generally usually read, in Mexico they call it salsa verde. Down under we call it green and gold. Ooh, I like that. So I don't know, being jalapeno and I don't know much about the charapita chili, but... I don't know how hot it'll be or not. Probably not as hot as the last one I had from Bunsters, but we'll see. Some of the Bunsters, too, like the first one I had was featured on uh, Hot Ones. I don't know if this one's hot enough to be a hot one, but we'll see. I'll get my taste test spoon. Put my old... Hey, this isn't green and gold like Packer colors. Mm-hmm. Like Packers. <coughs> Just like my old Rummy Bear spoon... Which is now, Rummy Bears is gone, but the spoon is still in action. The spoon is still a good spoon, which is a good, good spoon. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Some Bunsters green and gold. It's, ooh, it smells a little bit hotter than I would have expected. So maybe, it is an eight out of 10. It is an eight out of 10. Oh, I forgot the shake mode. It's got a juicy shake. Fill it up, buttercup. <clears throat> oh, well, here we go. See what the Bunsters has in store for us. See what I said? Fill it up, buttercup. Yep. Good size. You can see chili remnants in there, that's for sure. Well, I don't want to spill all over. I'll be licking off the table again. Just kidding. Mm. Smells good. I get the tangy eye, too. It is the tangy eye. Ow! <clears throat> I like that. It's actually a good combination between heat and um, pepper and tanginess. Great flavor. Oh. The other one that I had from Bunsters was super hot, but also a good flavor. I do like it. It's hotter than I suspected for jalapeno being first. I would give it, I would actually give it an 8 out of 10 for an average person. So... These hot scales may be based on average person. The last one I did was uh, Black Label, 16 out of 10. If you want over 10 for an average person, it very well could have been a 16 out of 10 for an average person. And this one's going to be pretty hot for an average person. But not much for the chili head account. Unless, of course, you would just want nuts and chug the whole bottle. Then it might put you at like a one or two and probably wouldn't be good for your stomach. Maybe I'll take a little bit more. Is it vinegary at all? Or um. Uh oh, it's running down the side. What? Oh, oh no! Ah, Bunsters. 
almost spilled it there. Going for the airplane ride. Yeah. Tangy eye. It's not necessarily always hot with these sauces. That tangy tartness sometimes gives me a little bit of a face going. Tangy eye. But yeah, it's got nice heat. It's got nice flavor. The other Bunsters had nice flavor. It says on the bottle it would be good on pretty much everything, including meat and veggies. So, meat and veggies, I would say this would go out good on a lot of stuff, like breakfasty eggs, hash brown meats, stuff like that. So, Bunsters is a pretty good company because I've had... To their sauces now, the flavor's been solid. They've been nice and thick and um, good consistency. Not too vinegary, not too watery, and uh, decent flavor and heat too, especially if you're a chili head. Some of these Bunsters, though, if you're an average person, they might be getting a little hot. You know, a 10 for a, or average person's a little hot. Although you could just put a few drops in some of your food or a little bit on and that might do you pretty good. All right, so again, Bunsters out of Australia. All right, good day, mate. And we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.